Hey loves, my name is Nicole Valentine. I'm a wellness and lifestyle entrepreneur. On my channel, I share about pregnancy, wellness, spirituality, and so much more. I also have an apothecary for my CMOS gel. Subscribe so you don't miss a beat. Let's hop into it. Here's my 24 week pregnancy update with Jack. Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Here's another video with me and Jack. And today um, we are gonna be doing like a 24 week update. So as you guys have seen in my other videos, I am documenting my pregnancy journey and it has been quite interesting. And I've been able to give lots of tips just from my experience, but also I'm experiencing a lot of experience. Oh my God. <laughs> I've been able to give lots of tips from my experience, but also I'm experiencing a lot of things. So in this video, I really wanted to cover my symptoms and what has helped me um, as I've been experiencing symptoms and just going through the process. I'm now at six months, so 24 weeks pregnant. You're six months, you're in your second trimester and about to hit your third, if I'm correct. <laughs> So, cause you're kind of like on the mark between like the second and third. So the time has really flown by and I have Jack here because he's also going to give his own personal update of what it's been like 24 weeks here. I just wanted to bring him here as, especially as someone who's seen me go through this journey to vouch for like what the experience is like when I miss my prenatal vitamins and when I am consistent with my like wellness practices in general. So 24 week pregnant symptoms. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you my symptoms, what I've experienced. Um, Jack saw me one morning, I woke up, I had the craziest leg cramp. It felt like my whole leg, like the, some of you may be familiar with the term Charlie horse. That's what I've been calling. I always grew up calling leg cramps. I was like, I have a Charlie horse. My foot is in so much pain. And I had to ice it and I also had to stay in bed for a good portion of that day to really just relax my body. A symptom of pregnancy is restless leg syndrome. So not only sometimes do I get leg cramps, I'll find myself tossing and turning a lot throughout the night, which I know affects you. Um, you will knock out when you need to knock out, but mm -hmm. still, if your partner's a light sleeper, they might not get as good sleep if you're not getting as good sleep too. So that was something I experienced. Also back aches, as my stomach is getting bigger, my spine is also moving. Um, with that, I have a prenatal chiropractor and I'll actually link her below. So if you're interested in prenatal chiropractic services, um, and it has really helped me, but it's not necessarily gonna keep symptoms completely at bay because your body's just changing so fast. So. As my spine is changing to adapt to this new belly, I will get back aches <laughs> and I'll need to rest. I'll also feel um, a pull and there is ligaments that are kind of connected from the uterus to like the walls of your belly. And with that, as your belly is growing, it stretches those ligaments, one being the round ligament. Um, it's on this side, the left side of your stomach. So I do sometimes feel pulling there. Um, my mood has been a lot more stable, I would say, than what it was. And a big part of that has been my supplements and also just getting into a better routine. But again, as you're hitting like the second trimester and third trimester, your mood should be stabilizing because at this point you've had the hormones in your body for a few months and it's kind of self-regulating, you know? your body's adjusting, um, your body is also preparing like to produce milk. So you're still seeing changes and things like that, but it's not happening. It's not like flushing through all at one time. So you kind of have a little more time to adjust and prepare and all those things. So what has your 24 week <laughs> experience of my of our pregnancy I guess has been um I think just um each day is a little bit different you know um it's, it's kind of similar to mm -hmm. the first trimester you know where um there may be a day where you're a little uh, more tired you know of course the day where you got the cramp 
Um, there may be a day where, like you said, your body is shifting and like, you know, the baby's growing and literally like that whole day, you may just be kind of out to let your body produce and do the things that it needs, needs to, uh, to do. Um, and then I think that like kind of recognizing that a couple things, the pregnancy, but then also like mentally you kind of create tension in your body. So kind of knowing like when we can do kind of like home massages mm -hmm. and kind of release some tension and, and the, those types of things. So um, in terms of the the, uh, the day when you didn't have all your vitamins, uh, <laughs> I guess maybe my, hopefully my face says it all. But um, I think, I think at, uh, shortly after that, you were like, um, uh, we need to order some more vitamins and like I can get it from here, but it's like gonna take a day or two and I could get it for here, but it's $20 more. And I was like, $20 more, let's get it now. We need it, let's, <laughs> let's get, get it. it. <laughs> so. And I actually remember one day we like, it wasn't an argument, but it was just like, I was more emotional about something. Like we couldn't stay at the at Rise as long or in Vegas as long as I had hoped. After the festival, I was like, well, we're already here. Like, I hope we can stay longer. And him saying, no, we can, we need to leave earlier so that we can get back in time for, you know, the following week, you know, just preparing for our week ahead. I got emotional. And then he was just shocked because he's like, why this, what I'm saying doesn't necessarily equal these emotions that you're exhibiting. And then he had to think about it. He's like, wait, did you take your vitamins? And I was like, actually, you know, we were traveling yesterday. I hadn't. And... I noticed that when I don't, I definitely am more prone to like, just more reactive, more emotional, more sensitive, um, having a harder time to express myself. Cause again, that goes back to the, like the emotional balance imbalance and also just regulating my emotions. So yes, mm -hmm. we, we, I prioritize taking my vitamins and he is my partner prioritizes reminding me or checking in with me if like he notices something's different. Um, also, I wanted to ask you about your midwife experience because mm -hmm. we went to the midwife around 21 weeks, if I'm correct. Mm -hmm. And um, before, because some of our relationship has been long distance. We, he's been there in spirit or he's been there on a call but this time he got to be with me in person and I'm actually going to clip some of that um, in a little bit but I wanted you to share your experience about like what being meeting the midwife and my doula because she's a student midwife so mm -hmm. that's been really great for me is that I get to have both of them at my appointments and um yeah, I just wanted to know, like, I wanted to know, but also have you share, like, what your experience with them has been. Um, I think, like, the first thing that stands out is, like, they're very comfortable. Like, they aren't, like, oh, crisis, 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 crisis. So it makes us feel, you know, very comfortable. Like, we're doing a natural birth so that, you know, like, um, I spoke to one of my other friends who's pregnant. And she was like, oh, my gosh, like, a natural birth? Like, ah, that's the scariest thing. And I was like, well, I mean, apparently... <laughs> People have been doing it for thousands of years, yeah. so I guess we'll be able to, you know, we'll be okay. Um, but yeah, they, they're very comfortable, um, chill. And then um, so, something that stands out to me <laughs> is that um, our do the doula, you said yes. the mid, yeah, the doula, she's very like direct. And <laughs> so she tells Nicole the things that I want to say sometimes that I'll just, you know, I'll get attitude or something. Shout out to you, Sarah. <laughs> but she can just say it, like, and then I'm just kind of like, mm. yes, these are the words that <laughs> we, she, she, need, she needs to hear. Yeah, you know, so um, that's cool. And, you know, they just, um, I, I get a sense they know what they're doing and they are very aware. And even the story that, uh, that was told about how they came about the place and it was mm -hmm. from someone who yeah. they had helped before, you know, there's, there's decades of experience here. So very comfortable. So here's a little video at the midwife appointment. I am about to hear the heartbeat. That's their heart. That's their heart rate. What did you say? Something. Yeah. Something yeah. moving. She's like... <laughs> Sounds good. And now you'll see um, she has just checked my heartbeat 
and she's about to measure the fundal height and I'll let you guys listen to our little discussion um, about it because it's very when you're 20 weeks your the top of your uterus is right about at your belly button mm -hmm. so um, I, I usually I sometimes I measure a little before but definitely by 20 weeks I start using the tape measure because basically the fundal height usually matches the gestational age mm -hmm. so and yours is is right on so your fundal height the fundus is the top of your uterus is measuring like 21 okay. which is what you are 21, oh, 21 weeks, weeks. Okay. Mm -hmm. so and you can see and you feel like like put your fingertips here see all that is oh i see so this is the top of your uterus right now yeah and this is non-pregnant you yeah. and this is your Pregnant. uterus so your uterus is all there yep and it's gonna keep i know that rising. here the chiropractors always releasing tension because mm -hmm. it gets really tight yeah but i didn't realize that's how far down the womb is well you're right because your bones are come here mm -hmm. and then you have in the front is your pubic bone but in women it's a cartilage in the middle mm -hmm. so okay. that can kind of so that it can expand to let your baby through but sometimes it kind of gets out of whack uh, the left one she said is i think always like off like it's mm -hmm. too high mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why chiro chiropractors, we love chiropractors in pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So they help balance out that. They help with the round ligaments, which are stretching now. Mm -hmm. And um, any place in your pelvis is great. But what was I going to say? Um, so yeah, so your bones are here, but your uterus is like hardly above. And then a little part, right. like this part is like below your oh, pelvic I see. bone. Yeah. Right? Okay. So this, your, your womb, your uterus is like cradled in your pelvis. pelvis yes and i will make another video about that i really want to share like what my birthing experience has been like in terms of finding providers and practitioners and also like planning for labor and delivery and i'm going to share more about what my birth team looks like in hopes that it helps someone else and also if you are a woman of color um, I will share more about resources that you can possibly have your own birth team for very low cost or for free possibly if you get the grant and it changed my life like going from an OBGYN to deciding that's not for me and working with a midwife doula highly recommend I also found them really early also highly recommend <laughs> to not wait until you're at 24 weeks um, a lot of midwives and doulas do not even take people after 20 weeks just because they don't want to, you know, take on a client or a patient that they haven't really been there for the beginning of their journey. It's kind of a liability if you think about it. So I highly recommend once you find out you're pregnant, start doing your research, um, watch videos like this, speak to other women. Also, trust your intuition because everyone's pregnancy looks different. I've been really, really blessed and grateful not only to have a supportive partner, but also for this body, you know, because, <laughs> but for real, like I just, I'm open to the changes that my body is going to go through, but I'm also pleasantly surprised that, you know with proper diet nutrition and all of that it doesn't have to be what you think it is like i thought i was gonna blow up i thought i was gonna look different and i've actually been like no you just look pregnant you just look like you have a little bump and i've been getting a lot of compliments from my beautiful friends about you know how i'm glowing and things like that and that's really comforting because of course your body is going through so many changes so if you are a friend of somebody who is a birthing person, hype them up. Tell them how cute they look, like how cute their belly is, but don't touch it. That's another thing. Be mindful of people's um, preferences and cultural backgrounds when it comes to putting your hands on somebody's body in general, but especially when they're pregnant. Um, I can't emphasize that enough. Like. And if you are someone who is pregnant or looking to have a baby, think about how, what you would want that to look like. Do you want everyone touching your belly? Maybe it's at a certain amount of months that you decide that you're more comfortable. But if it's a no, say it and be comfortable about it. I've been kind of shy or sometimes uncomfortable 
about telling people no and it's only made me feel uncomfortable and i definitely feel like if that's one takeaway is to just trust yourself and what you feel like you need and if you need people to respect your space then say no actually like um i don't want you to touch my stomach and sometimes it'll happen so fast i think it's best to just let people know up front <laughs> because they will just already be touching your stomach before you can say anything and sorry that grinds my gears <laughs> so now i'm ready to do a 24 week reveal six month update um, when it comes to my belly bump and as you can see i'm in a little bralette but this is what my stomach looks like so if you've seen in the previous video i love that it's always next to your head like for reference <laughs> As you can see, I've definitely gotten bigger. My stomach is stretching, especially under here. And I'm feeling, it. I'll drop it down just so you guys can see. My belly button sticks out. I do not have the Linnea Negra, which is a line that you get down the middle of your stomach. About 75% of pregnant women have it. I don't have it. I'm quite okay with that, but either way, if it does come up, it's something that's going to go away or does go away over time. And yeah, there you guys go. <laughs> so I do plan on doing possibly a clothing haul because I did do some clothing shopping since the last video. And I mentioned to you guys how pregnancy clothes is or figuring out like what to put on your body can be a little complicated. So look forward to that um, if you have any questions or suggestions of videos that you want to see from me or from us i can't wait to hear it and just thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you in the next one <laughs> hey loves if you like this video more videos like this please hit that subscribe button love you